Hey, welcome back everyone and happy Thursday. We are so close to the weekend, but for today we'll see what you can expect because conditions unfortunately are going to be pretty warm and muggy and it's all thanks to our winds that are still coming in from the south, southeast. Now yesterday we did have stronger winds. We had wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour and for today, they're just going to reach 20, possibly 25 miles per hour, especially areas just along the lower valley. And then as we head into tonight, slightly calmer winds are expected, but they're still going to come in from the south. And that's not really going to change these next couple of days. And that's exactly how we've been able to have very warm and muggy conditions these last couple of days. And it's going to continue as we head toward this upcoming work week. And here's a closer look at those feel like temperatures for this afternoon during the hottest time of day. So in Brownsville, it's going to feel like 104, Progreso 109, McAllen 114, McAllen 115, and Roma 105 under partly cloudy sky. So very warm and muggy, even though technically those highs are only going to be in the 90s, when you take in consideration or you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel much hotter than that. But like I said, we are expecting a few showers for tomorrow, and that's all because of a cold front that's going to get closer to the valley, but it's not necessarily going to pass all the way through. And it's just going to bring in a few showers, maybe an isolated storm or two just ahead of the front. But the main story is going to be the warm and muggy conditions. And then as we head into Saturday, a few lingering showers could also be possible, but remember the coverage is low, anywhere from a 10 to a 20%. So most of us are going to be dry across the Rio Grande Valley. So again, that's going to be the main story. And for today, we don't have a heat advisory in place, but that could potentially change as we head into this upcoming work week. And here's a closer look at the newest drop monitor that just got released this morning. And unfortunately, conditions aren't looking that great. They're actually a little bit worse, even though we got rain on Monday it just wasn't enough to help us out. So the brown patch that we had just along Star County and Hidalgo County now has stretched all the way into Cameron County and pretty much covering most of Cameron County. So conditions are not looking that great. Dry to moderate uh, drought conditions are across the Rio Grande Valley. And getting a closer look at our next seven days, we, we are not expecting any much rain as we head into these next couple days. Just dry, warm, humid conditions. And unfortunately, we'll have those temperatures in the triple digits as we head into this upcoming work week. 